right, Coach, uh, turning the page into November this weekend and more importantly, conference play starting up at, at Omaha. What's the message to the guys as you step into what's obviously been as tough a, con as tough a conference as any in this country? Well, exactly that. Um, you know, I think our conference from top to bottom is uh, every every game, every weekend, you have to be ready to go and, and play your best game. And, um, you know, whatever's happened to this point uh, really doesn't matter now that conference play starts. It's everybody's on equal footing and, um, you know, you got to bring your you got to bring your best. Um, and what is the mentality playing against a desperate team that hasn't won a game like Omaha? Uh, again, uh, this is conference play, and uh, you know, I watched uh, I watched their games back uh, the last couple of days, and uh, they got a great power play. Um, they got uh, you know a few D that can really rip the puck, and um, you know their forward groups. Uh, you know some of them uh, made us pay pretty dearly last year in terms of their game. So um, you know, for me, it's it's nothing that you've done to this point. It's everything you're going to do from here on in, and. Um, you know, every game in our league is a playoff game, and uh, we know that we're going to get Omaha's best, and uh, we have to be ready to play our best. And um, that's just the way it is in our league. There's no such thing as looking at numbers or, or records or anything like that. Last week, you emphasized that your team needs to play the game the right way. Did they do that this weekend? I thought for the most part we did a real good job of uh, playing within our structure and, and playing – uh, to our strengths, uh, I think there's some things that we still need to clean up, and and I think that's probably true for probably 95% of the teams in the country that are trying to figure out, you know, what they can and can't do in, in pressure situations and uh, situations where everybody's coming at you. And um, I think Saturday night we talked about how, you know, what what kind of parity is in college hockey, and everybody's really in the same boat, and um, you really have to be um, ready to, to take on anything and you're going to have to play defense and you're going to have to bend, but you can't break. And, um, and then you got to make the most of your advantage of your chances and take advantage of that. So, um, you know, I, I think we're getting better. Uh, to me, that's the most important thing. Uh, as a staff, we, we focus on that process and we focus on that, that team game that we know can be uh, a big positive for us down the road. Um, and we're focused on, on, on doing that in practice and, and in, in games as well. So, um, But there are a couple of things that I think we need to continue to at least talk about and make sure that we're, we're uh, a little bit more detailed on in, in a day-to-day -day perspective. There are a lot of times you said last year that the effort and hard work was there during the game, but you weren't getting the right bounces and things weren't going your way. But this year it seems that things are going your way. What do you attribute that to? Again, I think in the small sample that we have here in the month of October, we've, we've worked hard. We've worked uh, in our structure. Um, you know, I think we've gotten a few bounces. We've, we've been a lot sharper in terms of being – uh, a little bit more purposeful in our play away from the puck. Um, you know, I think the hard work and, and the commitment level is still there, um, but I do sense a, a sense of a, an emotional attachment to the game, and um, I think that's that's a huge part of who we are right now, and we're starting to grow that identity. And um, when you're emotionally invested in something, you – you know, you go out of your way to make sure that you're getting the job done. So um, we have to continue on that path. We have to continue to get better. But in terms of work habits, in terms of the emotional investment and the commitment that our guys have for each other, I think we're off to a good start. You also said a couple of weeks ago that there was going to be a time when the new guys aren't new guys anymore. Has that time come yet for you? This is it. We start conference play. Here we go. I mean, uh, there's no more room for, oh, he's a freshman or – Oh, you know, he's going to get better here in, in two months. Uh, uh, when we play Omaha this weekend, they're not, they're not thinking, oh, boy, they have freshmen. They're going to want to beat us. And that's true for every opponent in our conference. So uh, we've got uh, eight games under our belt, and I think they understand what, what needs to be done. And um, now we go. Kind of going off of that, do you feel like the freshmen and the new faces understand how rigorous and how tough your conference is and, you know, entering conference play? 
I believe they do. Uh, we've played some real tough opponents here the last few weeks. Um, teams that will expose you if you're not playing well. Teams that will expose you if you're not battling hard. Uh, if you're not focused on details. Uh, we certainly got a good tasting of that with Providence and, and Lowell. Um, and Colgate was no different. Uh, they come in waves. They're big. They're strong. And they can skate. Um, just uh, as I told the guys today, think about those teams on steroids uh, starting on Friday. So here we go. How do you feel that these new faces on your roster have accepted their roles on the team on and off the ice? Again, I believe that everybody in our locker room has contributed in one way or another, and everybody's accepted their role. And, uh, you know, we have guys that haven't played a whole lot, uh, and I'm, I'm sure they're not very happy with, with that. But I think in terms of their teammates and what they need to do uh, day in and day out, they're, they've accepted that. Um, uh, again, our identity is is one that uh, you have to play your role and, and you have to be within the team structure. And, um, you know, we believe that those guys, most of our guys, I should say all of our guys have accepted their roles. And um, what I was going to say is most of our guys have been executing that fairly well. All right, Alec, uh, obviously a good first month under the, under the team's belt and – this is your second go round of of seeing it. What's been kind of the message to especially the newcomers who are entering this weekend of uh, what's in store at Omaha and conference play starting this weekend? Uh, I think we you know we just gotta amp up our game a little. Um, you know, it starts started today in practice and throughout the week in practice, just having good night or good days, and uh, it'll lead into the weekend. So, for you, what's the biggest difference um, between your non conference opponents and your conference opponents that you've seen last year? Uh, I think the conference games are just big. Um, you know, it's you know, there's three points on the line every night. So I think, uh, you know, you always get everyone's A game. So, you know, we just got to bring our A game. And, you know, every every night um, it's always a battle. So. And then what's the mentality playing against a desperate team like Omaha? Uh, I think we just got to, you know, try and play our game. Um, you know, focus on ourselves, do what we do best, you know, use our speed. Um, I think if we play our game, play our A game, you know, everything else will take care of itself. How do you feel that your role and your mentality has changed since last year? Um, you know, I think uh, for me, it's just, you know, trying to be the best I can every day, uh, just showing up and, you know, doing what I can, doing what's, uh, you know, playing to my strengths. And uh, I think if I do that, then I'll be successful. So, can you what has been kind of the difference you've seen out of this this year's team? Obviously, the not a whole lot of goals allowed to the to this point as far as like the team's commitment, uh, every unit out there to being tight defensively and helping the goalie out. Uh, yeah, I think um, you know I think we you know our team has done a good job in the D zone for the most part, and uh, you know whenever we have broke down, you know Sharksman and uh, U-Haul both been playing great, and um, you know they've helped us you know keep a get a few shutouts and you know keep these other teams uh, some low scoring so I think uh, just you know having a everyone buying into the system and you know doing your role so you're coming off a big win on Saturday the six to nothing win is there a point from like the ending of that game till now where it kind of dawns on you that okay here comes conference play um, this feels different this is a little different or is it just the next game mentality uh, I think for us, it's, you know, just preparing the same each week. Um, you know, every opponent's different, so, um, but, you know, our game doesn't change. You know, we have to, you know, show up and play our game and worry about ourselves. So I think um, for us, you know, whether it's conference, non-conference play, I think we got to, you know, focus on ourselves and, uh, you know, work to play our game and we'll be all right, so.